Hello, Patriots. I'm Lee Watts, and this is Patriot Point, your source for Kentucky news and analysis from a conservative, Christian, and common sense point of view. On this week's program, we're going to be looking at a special election on the Kentucky State Supreme Court, how there is going to be an unexpected special election for an open seat in the Kentucky State Senate, and much more. First of all, let's talk about the Kentucky State Supreme Court. We have had one of the justices retire. They're not seeking re-election. So there's going to be an open position in Kentucky's 5th Judicial District. So everyone in the following counties, you're going to help choose somebody who could really tip the balance of Kentucky State Supreme Court. Uh, this 5th Congress, uh, 5th Judicial District covers the counties of Bourbon, Clark, Fayette, Franklin, Jessamine, Madison, Scott, and Woodford counties. So it's really hard to find information about candidates for the court because under Kentucky law, judges are supposed to be nonpartisan positions. So they don't uh, uh, advertise which political party they're a member of. You can't look up things to find out if they're liberal or conservative. But fear not, dear patriot, I've done my homework on these people and have some information I hope will help you make a decision. Uh, the two different candidates for this position on the Kentucky State Supreme Court are, uh, first of all, there's Miss Erin Ezo. Uh, I've had a chance to meet Miss Ezo. She is currently a lawyer working in a firm over in Lexington. And uh, this is a conservative person. And this is the one that conservative Republican people would want to support. Uh, she's the one I am currently supporting in this race. If you'd like to learn more about Erin Ezo, you can find out more on her website, which is erinezo.com. That's E-R-I-N-I-Z-Z-O.com. Uh, and I hope if you're conservative, that that's the one that you'll be voting for. Uh, the person who is opposing her candidate is really the one on the left and the liberal side, and that is a Miss Pamela Goodwine. She is currently a lower court judge, and uh, I looked up her record. Interesting, uh, she has had a little more than half of the cases where she gave a ruling. It went to the Kentucky State Supreme Court higher than her, and they struck down more than half of her rulings that went up to them because her rulings were too liberal and uh, unconstitutional. So she just wants to get on the court. Uh, she has been endorsed by Andy Bashir and the Democrats. Now, this is a bit of a problem because the governor is not supposed to insert himself into this nonpartisan race on the state Supreme Court. I mean, this is really showing the bias of the court. Uh, in fact, it is the Kentucky Judicial Campaign Conduct Committee has publicly criticized Governor Bashir for injecting himself supporting Goodwine in what's supposed to be a nonpartisan race and the court's supposed to be unbiased when it looks at cases that involve the governor and the legislature and stuff like that. Uh, so Goodwine has got support of Andy Bashir and the liberal left and Ms. Ezo is the one getting support from the conservatives. It's really hard to find information on these candidates, so I hope you have found this helpful. Go to that website I was telling you about and maybe be helpful to share this video with other conservatives who are trying desperately to find information to cast an informed vote. Speaking of voting, we're going to have a special election for a Kentucky state senator position, which is unexpected. Uh, Kentucky state senator Johnny Turner uh, recently had a fatal accident, and we our uh, condolences go out to his friends and family. I, I knew him. He was a good man. Uh, but his position now is open. However, this accident happened after the filing deadline for the election. So the only people who are running are all write-in candidates. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think there are 12 and even dozen write-in candidates. Uh, and it's very last minute, and people are like scrambling, trying to find any information about these people. Uh, I looked up these candidates, and I don't personally know, I've never met any of these people running for this. So to try to help you out, Patriots, I've contacted some people I know in these counties to find out who's running and who's really the people that the conservatives would want to choose to have a conservative voice up there in the Kentucky State Senate. Uh, because this Senate district covers Bell County, Floyd, Harlan, Knott, and Letcher counties. Uh, so you have five different counties that you're going to be voting. And here's uh, the different people that I've uh, looked up. Uh, really have narrowed it down to two different candidates that conservatives in the area seem to be gravitating towards. These are probably the two best choices. And they are a Mr. Scott Madden, who currently serves as, I believe, the mayor of Pikeville, uh, and a Mr. Willie Crace, who is currently a pastor. Uh, so these seem to be the two names that are coming up the most 
that conservatives in the area are seriously looking at. Hope you'll do your homework. We narrowed it down from 12 down to two, and I hope that'll be helpful for you. If you know people who live in these different counties in the 5th Senatorial District, might be good to share this video with them to let them get some of this information. Of course, people are like, well, election time is coming up, uh, and how do I know who to vote for at all? Well, we have a handy voter guide online that we can recommend. Uh, it is the iVoter Guide, and I have the link here on the screen, and I will put this link in the description part of this video. So if you just click on that and it'll take you directly to this online voter guide. It'll show you uh, the candidates. If they're already in office, it'll show you their voting record. Uh, it shows you who's contributed to these people, who's endorsed them. And that'll really let you know where they stand. And I hope you find that incredibly helpful. If you're one of our radio listeners, just listening uh, through your radio, just go to YouTube and visit Patriot Point and uh, you'll be able to get the link for the iVoter Guide, and I hope you'll find that very helpful. And of course, we have an event coming up here on November the 16th uh, up in Verona, Kentucky. It is going to be their annual Y'all Ball, a uh, wonderful traditional Kentucky name for this event. This is being hosted by the Boone County Republican Party. Uh, I will be emceeing the Y'all Ball, and uh, I hope to see conservatives all around the state up there. Uh, we're going to have a conservative congressman speaking, some great music. Uh, they're going to have some auctions, and, and it'll be a wonderful event for conservatives to get together and have some time to really support what's going on. Uh, if you would like to get tickets or to learn information about this, you can visit bcrpky.net. That stands for Boone County uh, Republican Party. Uh, bcrpky.net to get tickets or more information. And again, that'll be in Verona, Kentucky on November the 16th. And of course, it's campaign season and there's all these political ads that are going on right there. Uh, so I thought we'd leave you today with this special political ad. Being stupid is not a choice. It's not a choice. It's a choice. Just because you are a stupid person doesn't mean you don't have a voice. So get out there. Get out there. And vote. And vote. Let your voice be heard. Vote. Vote. I'm stupid and I vote. I vote and I am very stupid. My stupid vote counts as much as anybody else's. And sometimes way more, like in my county. So don't let them stop you. Don't let them confuse you. My son's wife is a smart person. She's tearing us apart. Vote. Get out there. Vote every day if you have to. It's not like they ask if you're stupid. <laughs> Nobody should have to learn things if they don't want to. I'm over, doggy. I want a candidate that smiles at me. The computer screen said, prove you're not a robot. So I cut myself. Vote. 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 Dance. Vote. Vote. Because they give you a sticker and you can put it anywhere. So that's the news we have this week about people who are running on the state Supreme Court, uh, some people we've narrowed down in that special election, and a voter guide. I hope you find all of these things helpful. So until next week, Patriots, I'm Lee Watts for Patriot Point reminding you that liberty is not a spectator sport.